Okay, it's April 22nd, doing a quick video on my feeder. And uh, what I did is I put it on a pole because I had a problem with some bears. And uh, the pole is a nine foot fence post. It's about three inches in diameter. It's a solid steel tube, about a quarter inch thick solid steel. And the idea is that you want to make it strong enough so a bear can't push it over or climb it. Um, you can also see I've got a considerable amount of axle grease on there and also a baffle. The uh, uh, height is about 6 feet 8 inches to the bottom of the bottom feeder. And that's about the distance that I figured would be safe for the bears that we have in my neighborhood. Uh, I figure they can reach up probably to about six feet, maybe possibly six feet four inches. The, uh, the baffle there is six feet four inches, so they'd have to navigate that before they could even get to the bottom of the bottom feeder. <clears throat> uh, also, the, um, the hole is about probably about three, three and a half feet deep. Uh, there's 450 pounds of concrete and also with some rebar in there. So it's pretty good. If you see my other videos, you'll see that the bear has tried to make it into there and he was not able to get up. Uh, the feeders are, there's a bottom feeder which is a cage type feeder. So that's for the smaller birds, like the titmice and the chickadees and the wrens. Uh, there's sunflower seeds in there and also dried mealworms. Above that is a, a feeder that has sunflower seeds. It's got a, a weighted perch. So uh, that limits the number of birds that can get on that as well. And then I've got suet and also some sunflower, extra sunflower seeds next to that. So it's worked pretty well so far. Um, hopefully it'll do the job. And that's just the quick uh, update on the feeder.